So in this video, I wanna show people how they can customize their chat GPT prompt, because if you purchase this snapshot from me, you'll know that the new system doesn't have the same custom values as the original. And so what Jennifer's asking is, hey, my new snapshot doesn't have the custom values where I would ask the qualifying questions. And so basically, if you look at the new snapshot, there's five custom values, and those don't include the qualifying questions. And the reason being is because most people were confused with really what the custom values do. So where you can edit the custom qualifying questions or really your entire system is within step two of the zap, which is the conversation in chat GPT. And so just to quickly explain how this actually works, when we get a response from a customer, we catch a hook from, you know, the zap. And basically within that zap, we have fields that we can map into, you know, any other step into the, uh, in the zap. And so the custom qualifying questions really were just data that was being passed from go high level to the webhook into the into the prompt. So instead of doing that and pulling the hooks and all that stuff, it's much more simple to just write the question um, inside of the actual prompt. So what I mean by that is you can literally just write them right here. So if we go right here, we can just write these qualifying questions and we can change them here. We don't have to like you know, remap fields and then re re catch the hook and then like map those because before you had to like go here, look for the custom data here and then map it and then zap is a little weird with how it like maps things. So all you have to do is write the qualifying questions in here. And what I've done is just kind of minimize all of the different fields that you have to map. Um, that way, you know, there's really only two things that you're mapping, which is the date since the last message was received and um, the last message that the bot sent. So anything that you want to adjust that is no longer a custom value can be done um, right here. So this is step two of the zap.